And this is my favorite segment on the show. I'm guessing it's yours as well. This is the segment where you can get all your tech queries answered by the Tech Today team. And our first question comes from Tech Today viewer Nilesh Sharma who says, Shall I purchase a new MacBook Pro? Well, Nilesh, it's a very timely question and I will give you a timely answer. In fact, a scary fast answer. That's exactly what Apple's new event is all about. They've announced this for October 31st. So I'm telling you all of this because Apple has sent out a media invite with a really cool new logo talking about scary fast. And because that logo morphs into a Mac Finder icon, I'm guessing it has something to do with the launch of new MacBooks. Now, of course, this is going to be an online only event on the 31st of October. And you can obviously tune in on Apple's social media channels, on their website and on Apple TV. But most importantly, stay tuned to Tech Today and our social media handles and you'll have all the updates from this particular event. But what can we really expect? I think we can expect a new 14 inch and a 16 inch MacBook Pro most likely powered by three nanometer M3 Pro and M3 Max chips. Now, I don't think we'll see any announcement to do with the MacBook Air, but since we're talking about the M3 Pro and the M3 Max chips, these will be the most powerful chips that would ever have been shipped on an Apple device. So that's worth waiting for. It's also worth mentioning that just this week, we had the iconic Snapdragon Summit in Hawaii. It's also worth mentioning that while Apple's talking about the latest and greatest in their lineup, the Snapdragon Summit by Qualcomm is taking place in Hawaii this week and they just announced an M2 Max competitor. That means a new Snapdragon chipset which they're calling Snapdragon X Elite. This platform comes with a 12-core Orion CPU. Now they claim that this particular chipset can outperform the Apple M2 Max. Not the M3 Max, but until now, the M2 Max and consume a lot less power.